Hi everyone, this is Sam from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. So, in this series, we have successfully completed 10 parts uh, till uh, source qualified transformation we have completed. Now, let's see joiner transformation. I will explain your joiner transformation in very simple way. Let's see. Now, the main agenda of this video, let's see why to use joiner transformation followed by a demo. Now, why to use joiner transformation? As I already mentioned in my previous video, source qualifier is used to join homogeneous sources. Now, joiner transformation will help to join heterogeneous sources. So heterogeneous sources are nothing but if you want to join two tables from different databases or from different schema, then you need to use joiner transformation. Also, if you want to join one table and two flat files or one table and one flat file, then that is also heterogeneous. So you need to go with joiner transformation because source qualifier doesn't help you in joining uh, heterogeneous sources. Now followed by a, let's see a demo. Now I am taking one table. So this is my table. Employee 10 is my table. Now we can see, let's see the content. So this is my content. So I have five rows in it. Okay. Now working 10, I, I am going to take as a flat file. Let me show you that. Now this is my second table. So you can see working 10.csv. So in this we have working location ID, working location, employee ID. So in this we have three records. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I need to join based on the employee ID of first table and the second table if those are matching then i need to get the working location okay now i have imported this employee 10 oracle table and i have imported this working 10 platform which i have shown now if you see carefully now for oracle table in the source qualifier you can see all the properties are enabled okay so you can perform join also here but the problem with the flat file is here we cannot see anything. So all the properties will get degraded out as I shown in the previous video. Now we want to join these two source qualifiers. Okay. So that means we need to join these two sources. Now if I want to join simply for example, uh, let's try like this. So let me just select and pass everything to here. Now if I just double click and open, I could see all the properties are graded out. That is because you are getting a source from a flat file. Okay. So that flat file is a hetero, uh, this is another uh, source and this is a another source which are heterogeneous sources. So you cannot uh, combine in a source qualifier. So that's why this is not the recommended approach. So we need to use two source qualifiers only and we need to use one more transformation which is a joiner transformation. Now we need to use joiner transformation only. Now let me remove these ports. So these are not required. And now let me create a joiner transformation. We create a joiner transformation. So transformation create. So I have created a joiner. Now let me pass these to here. Now just double click and open. Now we can see the ports are there, which is input output, and it is an M. So what is this M? M is nothing but a master. So master small if checked, otherwise detail large. Now what it is, I will tell you. Now properties, so here ports, so when I drag only one source, this master is not enabled. Okay. Now if I simply drag the second source also, now we can see in the ports, the master is enabled for the second table. That means in Informatica Power Center, by default, the second source, the last source that you're dragging, that becomes the master table okay now what is a master table master table or detail table there will be two terms okay so in oracle we'll just call as left left table and right table in the same way here master table detail table master table is nothing but so the table which contains less records will take as a master the table which contains more records will take as a detail the reason is every every record in detail will be compared with the master so that's why we always prefer to take detail master table as a less number of records table to improve performance now let's come to the condition now here we can see master table here and detail table here like in oracle we won't see the left join left table or right table so let's for our sake i am just making master table as left i am just calling a detail table as right now let me click here now we can see working location id is a master whatever the master table those are they present so those are coming here okay now i wanted to compare employee id of master which is left table with the employee id of the detail which is a employee oracle table okay 
now if you want to stake first one employee id now here i uh, you could see that second table i have taken as master table why because then the second table so this is a table in the sense this is a file so this file has only three records as i have shown but this employee id oracle table has five records so that's why this one i have taken now you can see so this is the condition now coming to the properties now don't get confused so here i could see equality operator so don't think that this is a normal join no this is just an equality operator when coming to the properties you can see join type normal join okay normal join in the sense only the common records will come from the left table and right table your left table is master join master table and right table is detail table now apply so now we can see the join condition is not valid data types for both ports employee id employee do not match so why it not match you can see now from employee id from table by default source qualifier native data type will be double but from flat file it will be decimal but if you want to compare those two should be the same so what i am going to do is i am going just making this as a double now if i apply it will be working okay now let me just connect employee id employee name and the working location to the target now let me create a session and run the session now for our simplicity i just copied the master table so from the flat file i just copied the data to the table so this is uh, whatever that is present in the flat file this is a master table so i just uh, copied here just for our simplicity now this is the first table so which is a detail table now if you see we have specified as a normal join that means this one will be compared with one and only the matched records will get so 1 2 5 so 1 2 5 are the records that we are going to get now as we know in oracle will be having four joins okay so now if you see master outer join now what is master outer join here so master outer join is nothing but all the records so that means only the matched records from the master table and all the records from the detail table that means here when i choose master outer join so in the master is a left table as i already told and detail is a right table just remember now only the matched records from left table and all the records from right, right table that means we are performing right outer join okay so when it is a master outer join that means the oracle right outer join that we need to remember now let me just save this and let me run now we can see master outer join as we specified so this is a master table so only the matched records from master so what are the matching records 1 2 5 so 1 2 5 got to here okay so uh, if you see 1 2 5 so 1 2 5 working location we are taking bangalore hyderabad pune now we can see bangalore hyderabad pune we got and unmatched records from right table as well right table is this one so here all the records we need to get so 1 2 3 5 4 so you can see all the records but the unmatched one you can see null okay so this is performing a right outer join now let's see one more so here you can see properties and master outer join detail outer join so that means only the matched records from detail table and all the records from master table if you see here so matched records from detail and all the records from master so simply we can call it as left outer join okay so let me save this now we can see so this is a data so uh, as i told so this is a master table and this is a table so only the matched records from right table so if you see matched records are 1 2 and 5 so 1 2 5 will get 1 2 5 okay and all the records from left table so which is a left table so we can see bangalore hyderabad pune only those records are there those records we got now if you perform uh, like if you select the full outer join it will perform full join so all the records from left table and matching records from left table all the records from right table and matching records so everything will get it is same like a oracle so this is a high, uh, high level and we can see catchy directory so for joiner there will be catchy that gets created okay so there will be two catches one is index catchy and one is data catchy now what is index catchy index catchy is nothing but you just simply remember for the condition whatever the condition for example here you can see emp id emp id so for this condition ports one catchy will be created that is an index catchy for the non condition ports so if you see here the non condition are working location id working location and employee name so for this one catchy will be created which is a data catchy okay so now sorted input sorted input option let's see so i have checked the sorted input that means the input to the joiner transformation is sorted from both the tables okay now let me run the session now we can see from the table so from file we have three records 
so three red three records it got uh, read red okay and when it come to table in the table we have five records but in those five records i didn't specify everything in a sorted if you see let me show you the data once so this is the data which is coming from the uh, another table now if you see 1 2 3 5 4 i have mentioned in a reverse way that means it is not in the sorted that means the employee id which is a condition port i didn't sort it but in the joiner transformation i have mentioned sorted input okay so then what is happening is session is getting failed so session why it is failing because we are telling you will get a sorted input but we are not passing sorted input then session got angry and it got failed so you can see this is the error message so input the joiner transformation input is not sorted the row key value is 4 so it is not sorted so that's why the session is getting terminated and also we can see by default sql query will get uh, default sql query will get uh, triggered to the source when it when source is a database table so in order to work on that problem what we need to do we can simply use so from here this is a table so we can simply use a sorter transformation here okay and then from sorter transformation we can simply pass if you use a sorter transformation we are not a well advanced programmer because as it is a uh, oracle table so why to use sorter transformation we have an option select distinct okay so uh, no not select distinct we can see number of selected sorted ports okay so we can simply use one okay or else we can simply uh, write an sql query which helps to get in order by order by class you can write okay so this will help you and let me just uh, drag this let me just unsort this unsorted input let me just remove let me run once again now the session is succeeded but if we carefully observe here we can see create it read three rows and create joiner catchy on master relation first it is creating a catchy file on the master so which is index catchy and data catchy as i told there will be two for every table or for every flat file now read five rows from the flat file and we can see it got created the index catchy at this location this is a catchy directory and it got uh, created again index catchy says and data catchy says now at the end it will remove those files now if you see deleting catchy files for this transformation and also for this transformation why the catchy is being in order to make the performance faster we use catchy so there is no persistent it will get deleted after the session run uh, those are the main important points that we need to remember it is a very simple transformation you can go through this uh, document where it will uh, mention all the joiner transformation and you can um, very important you can see uh, this document which talks about the four types of joins which i mentioned okay thank you for watching this video you can give your valuable feedback at support videos or twitter channel